Hey guys, we are back at it. Another week of spring cleaning. This time we are spring cleaning the bedroom. I also have lots of laundry. I'll be cleaning two bathrooms over four days. So just, so just getting it done slowly but surely. I'm also going to share with you a low carb lasagna that our family loved. So we're gonna be doing a lot today. I hope you're ready. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good day, a good night, whatever time of day you're watching this. I hope you're doing well. I want to welcome you to Jamie's journey. I want to welcome you if you're coming back. Thank you for coming back. If you're new, thank you for being here. I'm Jamie. I just hope you're ready because we're going to be doing a lot today. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been spring cleaning. So picking one room a week to completely deep clean and transform. Today, I'm tackling the bedroom. So we're going to be moving furniture, vacuuming, cleaning carpet, dusting, baseboards, all of that. So it actually took me four days of cleaning. Like I said, I always say this, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You do not have to get it done in one day. It feels good if you get it done in a few days, but you certainly don't have to. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. But this was on night one. I was pretty much bringing you guys along as we do our like super basic nightly cleanup, just picking things up off the floors and countertops. Mike had a kind of last minute thing that came up with work that he had to go take care of. So he was upstairs in the office and I was having the girls help me out. And honestly, as long as it's for a short period of time and we put on the cleanup song or something really fun for them that they love, they're pretty good helpers. If this is your first time to Jamie's journey, thank you for being here. As you can see, I have three daughters. My oldest, Avery, will be seven at the end of April, and my twins, Addison and Emery, will be three next Wednesday. I have no idea how we survived three years with twins, but I kind of feel like I did. <laughs> like it's a huge accomplishment. Um, but yeah, I have three daughters. I am married to my husband, Mike. We've been married for almost 13 years. He is a financial analyst and he was going to come and grab the girls take them upstairs to get them ready for bed while I was finishing up cleaning but yes we've been married it feels like forever because we've been dating since we were 15 but a little bit more about who I am I have PCOS polycystic ovarian sy syndrome and I've also dealt with infertility we had to go through IVF to get pregnant with the twins and I just created my YouTube channel as a way to create the, a community where I could help other people in any way and when you guys come here you're gonna see that I am an imperfect mom I am not perfect my house is not always clean and organized I don't always look perfect I don't always wear makeup and you're you are going to see a lots of messes a week after week but I just try my best and I just hope that I can make cleaning easier more fun for you either way I am here for you guys and you guys are you always are welcome to message me reach out if you ever need anything so thank you for being here
So this was my big day, the big day I had planned on getting stuff done. Avery was on spring break from school, so she was hanging around the house, but the twins still had school this week. So they go to school two days a week for a few hours in the morning. So I knew that I needed to get stuff done because when they come home to take their nap, they obviously take it in their room and I knew I was going to be cleaning in the bedroom and the carpet cleaner can be kind of loud. So I was so motivated, like, let's get to work. Let's get it done before they get home and go down for their nap. Avery, I was having Avery clean her room and I was going to wash my bedding and then her bedding. She was actually home just in the morning and then she was going to go hang out with my mom in the afternoon. So the day before I had spent all day with her we went shopping, we got manicures, we got ice cream, lunch, just had fun. And then Mike picked a day this week. She was on spring break. He took her to a trampoline park and ice skating. And then she spent one day with my mom and then one day with Mike's mom. Just we wanted to make the week fun for her because it's her spring break. And a lot of our, our friends and her friends went and traveled down south to Florida. So we wanted to make the week fun for her and give her a lot of one-on-one -on -one special time. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got someplace that I gotta be It won't leave My friends say, hey, get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written in the sky Okay, before I forget, this is super, super important. This week, last week of March, there will be a second video on my channel, but this is really important. It's not gonna go up on Thursday. It's gonna go up on Wednesday, so I'm switching it out a little bit. This is not a permanent schedule change. On Thursday, there's uh, stuff I have going on that I'm not gonna be able to upload. I'm not gonna be able to answer comments, and I'd rather be present in um, like a part of the community as you guys are watching and you know leaving comments. So instead, I'm moving the video to Wednesday. So this Wednesday, Wednesday, March 30th, clean, declutter, and organize. So make sure you have the notifications turned on or put a reminder in your phone. Don't miss it. A lot of dog fur and dust and hair and also a bag of Cheez-Its. I know a lot of people have issues with people eating in bed, but I will admit to you, I do eat in bed. Like there's nothing, I, I love laying in bed, watching TV, like that's my go-to place. At the end of the night, I get in bed, turn on my favorite show and eat my nighttime snack. I do it. But I, I will say I do eat in bed, but those, that cheese it bag was not mine. I promise it was not mine. But anyways, I was going to vacuum the bed frame and I used my Dyson cordless vacuum. So this is a cordless vacuum that comes apart that I, it allows me to use it as a hand vacuum. And I use this attachment. It's called a horsehair brush attachment. I will have it linked in the description, but I just put it on my Dyson and then vacuumed it all up. But if a lot of you guys don't know, our sweet dog Reese passed away about two weeks ago. And so, you know, as I'm cleaning each and every room, I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing her everywhere and it's, it's emotional. When I'm cleaning in this room, it's kind of hard because when I do like the basement or the living room, we just move all of the furniture off of the carpet and I can clean it all at once. With, with the bedroom, the, the bed frame is way too big. You have to take it apart. So that wasn't going to happen. The furniture is super heavy. So we just kind of like move some furniture out. I vacuum and clean the carpet and then we kind of move it back. And so the carpet, another question I get asked is, well, how long does it take you to clean? Number one, there's different settings on the carpet cleaner. There's like a deep clean. There's like a max clean and express clean. I, I don't know exactly if that's what they're called, but you can do a express clean so it doesn't put out as much water. Um, but 
honestly, because it's a smaller bed, like room, like, and I don't, I'm not saying the bedroom is small, but I'm saying like, it's a lot smaller of a room than like the living room that it's way open. And it honestly dries pretty quickly. So I think by the time I was doing this, it was probably like 10 o'clock or something in the morning and everything was completely dry by like 2 p.m. So I don't know. I don't think that's too long for it to dry, but plus with the dressers and the bed, I mean, with the exception of um, the posts on the ends, I mean, it's not directly on the carpet, so there was still some airflow, but it does, I think, dry pretty quickly, especially when you're in a smaller room. But when I was doing this, Mike had to keep coming upstairs because usually he'll help me like move this stuff once and then he's done. But like I had to keep calling him up. So he was getting his exercise because he was in the basement working. So he had to keep climbing two sets of stairs to come help me. But it is weird to me because one of the times he came up, I was like, it's just crazy to me to think like, this is the last time I'm going to be spring cleaning in this house. You know, we're building a house. And so we're not sure when we'll be moving in, but we think it's going to be towards the end of this year. So I don't think we'll be in this house for spring cleaning last next year so has my wheels turning um thinking about that new space and just like taking stack of what I have in this house and where like what I want to take maybe what we want to sell so like I have you know all of that going through my head I'm the crazy ex-girl you pretend you don't know because you know I could ruin your life rumor has it you have someone So I was going to clean the window tracking before I cleaned the carpet under it because I didn't want like any dirt or dust to fall on the carpet. So I was cleaning this before I cleaned the carpet under it. But one of my favorite cleaning hacks for window tracking is that you take baking soda and white distilled vinegar and then a wet dry vacuum. So my husband has one for the garage. I think that's where they're most popular, but it's like a vacuum that can suck stuff up or push stuff out. Um, a lot of people will use it. Um, like in a garage or things like that, or if they're cleaning out their car to vacuum it up. But you just take some baking soda, put it in the window tracking, and then you pour some like distilled vinegar, it bubbles up, and then you can get like a scrub brush or a toothbrush, like a cleaning toothbrush, and then scrub in the cracks and crevices. And then you just take the wet vac and it sucks all of that stuff up. So it's like a really quick way to clean the window tracking. And it's so weird because there's two windows here, as you can see, and in the corners where the two windows meet, I could not get that perfectly clean. It was kind of driving me crazy. Now on the outer corners, I could get perfectly clean. It's so weird how it was in those inner corners. And I even busted out my Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer because that always blasts all of that gunk up out of the window tracking. I had multiple like scrub brushes that I didn't even show you guys because I was like in there scrubbing and nothing works. So I think that's just like caked on dirt that's not going anywhere. But you know what? It's window tracking. It does not need to be perfect. I think it looks good enough and it's going to get dirty again. So anyways, this is a great window cleaning hack.
Okay, but speaking of new house furniture, um, I plan to pretty much use all of the furniture downstairs as long as it translates okay. Like I love my furniture downstairs. I don't want to have to buy any new furniture. Um, I don't love the black furniture here in my bedroom. I don't love it. And I know you're probably like, why don't you paint it? Um, but I don't know what the material is. I don't know what it is. I try to look, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's not wood. It's not faux wood. I don't know what it is, but it's weird. And what I mean by that is we used to have, like, if you're an OG, if you've been around from the beginning, then you probably remember, but we used to have a matching headboard that we ended up selling before we got this headboard and Mike's hair gets really oily very quickly, um, like every single day. And like if he was like, let's say at the end of the night, he's we're watching TV and he's sitting up against the bed frame and his head was up against the, the bed frame, it would leave like oily marks and I could not get them off. And I tried everything. You guys know I have like every cleaning product you can think of. I tried everything and nothing would take it off. Like it was so weird. And I don't know what the material of this, these desks are, um, but I don't, I don't like the material. I don't like the look, but here's where I think we might get lucky because like, I don't want to just get new furniture just because I don't like the way it looks, you know, cause it's still good quality furniture. So um, in our new house, instead of one big closet, we have two separate smaller closets. So I personally don't think I need a dresser. I don't, I have, I can fit all of my, cl my clothes in my dresser. But the reason why we have the dresser is because the, the layout of our current bedroom, it's so big and in that back corner, like there would be nothing else we would put there anyways. And it, it's a place to put the TV on but I'll insert a picture here of our new bedroom in the new house. It's very long, it's just very long, and it's not very wide. So we're, there's only one place that the bed is going to be able to go, and there's not gonna be room for or dressers. But what, here's what I'm thinking. We'll get rid of my dresser, because I don't need it. I can put everything in my closet. Mike loves and needs a dresser. That's what he says he needs one. Okay, so I'm, thinking and hoping that we're going to be able to put his dresser in his closet so that way all of his clothes are in the closet and then that way I don't even have to worry like just because I don't like the color it doesn't matter because it's in the closet so that's what I'm thinking so I think that's how we can get around um, having the black furniture um, even though I don't like it but then that way we don't have to buy new furniture just to buy new furniture. Please do not judge me for how dusty my dresser is. You guys, it looks so bad. And honestly, there is zero excuses for it. I guess I've been focused more on spring cleaning than my day-to-day -day cleaning or week-to-week -week cleaning, but that's really no excuse, but it is what it is. Another reason why I want less surfaces in my bedroom is because that's less surfaces to clean and dust, you know? Um, I personally don't, like with this house, so we picked a layout. We were not able, because we're not custom building, we weren't able to alter the floor plan at all, which honestly, I was happy with the floor plan. That's why we went with this builder and this floor plan number one, but also they didn't put a lot of the square footage into the bedrooms, which I wanted. I don't need a big bedroom. I don't need the girls to have big bedrooms. It's not where we spend our time. So I'm honestly glad that we don't have, I mean, like the house is a good size, but our bedroom is not huge. It's, I mean, like I, I think our bedroom is probably smaller than our current bedroom bedroom which I am totally fine with I'd rather have that extra space like in the house somewhere so 
so I might get asked this. I feel like I get asked this every video, but I always get asked, like, how long does it take you to do X, Y, and Z? How long did it take you to clean this bedroom? And it's hard for me to give you guys a straight answer because when I film, it takes so much more time. So here's an example. I'll kind of lay this all out for you. This was in the morning. I was able to get this entire bedroom clean. So from the, the time I started this morning when you saw me until I end currently end in this bedroom, I was able to get that done in about four, took me about four hours. Like I was done before they got home at lunchtime. So it took me about three and a half to four hours. This entire video, which was filmed over four days, when I inputted that footage into my computer, it was four and a half hours of raw footage. However, when I, I kept track of how long it took me to clean over those four hours, and it was about nine hours of cleaning. So nine hours of cleaning over four days resulted in four and a half hours of raw footage. You know, if you think about it, every single time, like if I'm wiping down a surface or I'm wiping down a door and then I move, I have to stop, go get the camera, reposition it, and then go back, you know, or I'll stop and be like, oh, this would be a good angle just to switch it up for you um, to make it like more exciting because I know it can get boring. So it honestly takes me so much more time to clean when I film because I'm stopping and moving the camera every single time. Like, so anyways, if you guys ask me, it's hard for me to give you a for sure answer because it's just, it adds so much more time when I'm filming. But yeah, the four and a half hours of raw footage, that's a pretty long video. And it took me about, I think, seven hours to edit. Now, that's not all in one sitting, seven hours over a couple of days to edit. But yeah, the four and a half hours, um, it, vlogs are easier. Like, if you, if there's a video where you're talking to the camera more, that takes less time to edit but just like a cleaning video from start to start to finish four and a half hours takes a long time but yeah so if you guys ask me how long it takes to clean a certain area I I can estimate but it's never for sure because I have so much added time because I'm moving around the camera so much Okay, so what I was going to do next was I was going to deodorize the bed frame and my curtains. So I saw this on TikTok. I think her name is Vanessa Amoroso. I could be butchering that, but she's huge on TikTok. But she made up this DIY cleaner. It's one fourth cup of... Mm, I have the dimensions in the description. I'm trying to think. Maybe a half of a cup of water. That's it. Half cup of water, one fourth cup of of alcohol like rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol and then however much you want of liquid fabric softener she says to put in more if you want a strong scent less if you want not so strong of a scent i wanted to err on the side of caution i didn't want to like coat my stuff with fabric softener and i kind of wanted more a more light scent so i just kind of put like a splash of downy liquid fabric softener in the bottle and I got this special bottle from Amazon. I will have it linked below, but the only reason why I got this bottle, I think it's like a hairstylist spray bottle because it has like a very fine mist to where most of my other bottles, like my DIY cleaner, my bottles that I get from Grove Collaborative, which I love, that has more of like a cleaning spray, if you guys know what I mean. It's more of like a direct spray to where the bottle that I got for the deodorizer has more of like a very, very fine mist, which I wanted for furniture and curtains and things like like that um but what i was thinking is if you have dawn power wash you could repurpose i think that may work just as well so you guys won't have to buy a bottle i thought about doing that but then i'm like people are gonna think if i don't say what i'm using every single time and it just depends sometimes with my voiceovers and how they fall like if i can't say or if i don't get to say like what's in the bottle people are going to be like is she putting down power wash on her furniture so no I got the bottle from Amazon, but if you guys want to make it, 
like I said, the dimensions are in the video, this video's description. And um, yeah, you can buy the bottle if you want, or you can try Dawn Power Wash. And then here I was just vacuuming up all of that baking soda after I had sprinkled it on the bed frame. I let it sit all afternoon and all evening and I was using the shop vac again. Some people say that vacuuming up baking soda will ruin your vacuum. Others say it doesn't. I've used it in my Dyson and it's been fine, but I used it in my shark and it clogged my shark up. So I just err on the side of caution. Vacuums are too expensive and use a shop vac. Hi guys, I am back. I got some new joggers, but they're so comfortable. And they're my new favorite pants. All right, so I will have my joggers linked in the description. I just got them from Old Navy. I got the pair that I'm wearing and then I got a gray pair and I love them. So I am a pretty petite girl. You guys know that. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Jaws glass cleaner and then the Jaws daily bathroom cleaner here in the bathroom. Um, but I love joggers. Like I love the look at, of it, but I'm short and I'm small. So sometimes I have to be careful with sweatpants because th these are like, it's like a jogger style, but they're sweatpant material. I have to be kind of careful with some certain sweatpants because it, it can almost overtake my body and look sloppy. Like I know I'm around the house, so it doesn't really matter what I look like, but you know, you want to look like if I take the girls to school or if I go to the bus stop or I run errands, like I still want to look somewhat decent. You know, I don't want to have these like big sloppy sweatpants on. So I really, really love these. My question will be, is how they dry. So I love Old Navy, love Old Navy, but I do find that when they're, when I put my clothes in the dryer, that they shrink a little weird. So I'm pretty, like I said, I'm, I know I'm petite. I have short legs. I, I feel like I'm pretty short. I'm five, four, pretty short. I have short legs, short arms, but sometimes with my Old Navy clothes after washing and drying them and the tag says it's okay to wash and dry that I noticed that the sleeves will be too short which I have very short arms so if it's the sleeves are short on me then they're going to be sh like super short on everyone else or I noticed that with my pants as well and it's just crazy because I find that no other brands do that to me you know what I mean so like even like the cheap clothes from Amazon that you get like it doesn't happen so I'm really really hoping that does not happen with these because I love them even the these purplish blue ones that I have here I love the they're like a distressed faded color so anyways I will have them linked below so you can check them out and to scrub my shower I was using the Jaws foaming cleaner and then these um, clean, hand cleaners from clean cleaning tools from Grove Collaborative they're so great you can get different heads and they just slide on and they have like a nice sturdy handle to scrub the shower walls
don't forget i'm going to be making a low carb lasagna this was another tic tac find so um if you guys are new here oh i think i said earlier in this video that i have pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome um it is a hormonal disorder so i don't eat healthy to lose weight i don't go low carb to lose weight at all um, in fact i don't want to lose any weight um, but for me it's more about living a healthy lifestyle that's why you know i'm pretty fit i work out i try to eat healthy like an 80 20 rule like i still eat i love pizza i love chocolate chip cookies i love carbs i love bread um it's like eating well 80 percent of the time and then 20 percent of the time i eat whatever i want but I don't restrict myself. I don't, luckily don't need to cut out any food groups or anything. Um, but with the PCOS, I notice that my body does react differently to carbs. Um, if you're not familiar with it, they say it's like a sister or a brother, a sibling of diabetes. And so your body just reacts differently to carbs when and you can be insulin resistant if you have pcos so for me i notice that when i eat carbs or a lot of carbs um, my whole body swells i have a hard time wearing my wedding ring and things like that like i just my body just has a hard time proce processing carbs um, if i eat a lot of it so while i don't count like i don't restrict myself to a certain amount of carbs in a day at all it's usually like i'll eat like a carb like eat most of my carbs at lunch and then we'll go more lower lower carb and dinner or i'll flip flop something like that um but mike is also on the health train and he does not like fr like fruits or vegetables at all at all i've said that before and i know it's crazy for people to wrap, wrap their heads around so he tries to make up for it um, and try to eat as healthy as he can. Like he'll, he kind of like forces down smoothies, but then he also tries to make up for his diet by, you know, watching what he eats. So we made a low carb lasagna and let me tell you, it does not taste low carb at all. It was amazing. Amazing. for you now you got two minutes of my time Okay, so then I popped into the girls' bathroom and I was using hydrogen peroxide wipes to wipe down their um, toothbrush holder. I just like it because hydrogen peroxide to me is a wonderful cleaner. And since it's safe to consume, I feel better using that on their toothbrush holder because it's wood. So I can't put it like in the dishwasher or whatever. But I was just wiping down their bathroom. I was going to quickly wipe down the bathtub and uh, mop. And in our bathroom and in this bathroom, I was going to mop with my e-cloth mop. It's one of my favorite ways to mop super, super quickly. So they have this, I think it's called like the deep clean mop. But if you go to e-cloth, e-cloth's website, you'll see it. But the whole concept be behind e-cloth is that you just wet, whether it's a rag or this mop head, you just wet with water. The way the fibers are in, in the mop head or the rags, they will grab on to dirt and bacteria that actually clean with just water. So if you don't want to clean with chemicals, you can use e-cloths. They have like a mirror gl glass and polishing cloth. They have one for the stove top. They have one for stainless steel. That's amazing. I love their mop and it's just like a super quick way to mop. So sometimes even after the girls are done eating, if I'm not mopping that night or I'm not going to run my robot mop for whatever reason, I'll just like quickly grab the e-cloth mop. I have one downstairs and one upstairs and just like do like a quick mop.
All right, so now it's time for the low carb lasagna. So we did one pound of ground beef, of lean ground beef, and then one pound of Italian sausage. You definitely don't have to do that much meat, but we wanted the extra, but we wanted the extra, extra iron for the girls. So we did two pounds. So you cook that up. I added some garlic and then a can or a jar of marinara sauce and some Italian seasonings, whatever seasonings you want. And then I took a block of cream cheese and a fourth cup of ricotta cheese or maybe a half cup of ricotta cheese and mix that all up in a bowl. And I got these egg life wraps. I got them from Aldi. They're made of eggs. And then you just take the cheese mixture, you put it on the egg life wrap the egg life wrap and then you just start layering so you do like i said you layer the the sour cream and the ricotta cheese on the the wrap you put that down and then you put some of the the beef mixture and then you add some mozzarella cheese and then you just keep layering it in a dish and then you cook it at 350 for about 20 25 minutes until everything is melted i mean everything is pretty much cooked so you're just warming it all up all the way through but like i said i got this on tiktok and the egg life wraps this was the first time i had used them and you to me, you could not tell that they weren't real noodles. It was crazy, and even the girls liked it. So um, this is definitely a recipe we will be adding to our rotation. So once I got the lasagna made and it was cooking, it was time to vacuum. I still needed a vacuum and mop, but I was not going to mop before dinner. That would be stupid because the floor always gets messy and gross during dinner. But while the lasagna was cooking, Avery was still with my mom, so she wasn't around. Mike was finishing up work and Addison was with him, hanging with him. And so Emery was watching me vacuum. She could not wait to vacuum. She was begging me to vacuum. So I vacuumed. And then we were going to eat dinner. And then after dinner, I was going to use my Tinco eye floor too to vacuum and mop in the kitchen. And then I would be done. I almost mopped before dinner. And then I'm just like, no, Jamie, don't do it. Because then you're still going to have a mess. So I held off until after dinner and then used my Tinco. And um, then I was done for the night.
when I'm done using my Tinco, I always wash it out right away. There's a self-cleaning button, which I take upstairs. The base is upstairs. I take it upstairs. You have to have it sitting on the base. You press the button and it self-cleans for like, I think like 30 seconds or something. It self-cleans and gets all of the w dirty water out of the machine. And then I take the parts over to the sink and run it under the water and use soap and hot water and um, wash all the parts. And then I let them air dry overnight. I totally forgot to close out the video after I did my Tinko. Mike was putting the girls to bed and then Avery was still up, so I went upstairs to read her a book. So I totally forgot, but I'm getting ready to wash my hair. It's <laughs> the day that I wash my hair. I wash my hair once a week and it is time. I know it looks so crazy because I've had it up in a pony. And oh, really quickly. So. I'm sure I already said this, but don't forget my video next week. Instead of going up on Thursday, it's going up on Wednesday. I have a bunch of random stuff that came up. And instead of putting the video up on Thursday, like I literally am going to be gone from like super early in the morning until late at night. I'm not going to be able to upload the video. I wasn't going to stay on comments and I'd rather be present and try to be there and talk with you guys. So I was just like, you know what? I'll upload on Wednesday. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, but make sure you like put it on your calendars if you want to watch if you don't want to watch it's totally fine but if you do want to watch make sure you put it on your calendars wednesday 11 a.m um march 30th march 30th so don't forget that you guys make my week every single week and i hope you know you're that. gonna get started tomorrow so i hope you're ready we're getting it done in the bedroom